Australia is the renovation nation. Every year we spend $30 billion fashioning our homes to the latest styles. However, it's when we try to do it ourselves that we can turn our homes into eyesores. Here's David Richardson with the renovation successes and the DIY disasters, including one example so bad, experts say it's the worst they've ever seen. I can't put my children through anymore. I've done enough damage to provide a home and care for my children plus my grandson. I've tried to live the dream of owning and I'm going to lose it all. This mother of six has made the biggest mistake any home renovator can make. I didn't get a permit. I'm fully aware of that now. It is my mistake. Christina Parsons didn't get council approval for her addition and now has to pull it down. She's the widow of Goran Vasic, gunned down in Ligon Street in Melbourne in 2010. After the shooting, she moved her family to this small house in Geelong, but needed more room, adding two bedrooms and a family area, but without a permit. I, honest to God, made an honest mistake. I'm paying the price for it now because I'm in a position where I can't either pull it down or rectify it because you cannot repair it. If I go to court, I'll lose the home that I've always dreamed of owning to give my children a better life. Not only is the work illegal, it's shoddy and unsafe. Walls not finished, wires exposed, floors uneven. Council has listed a full page of problems, but it's irreparable. They've only given me the options to either bulldoze it down or repair it. The bearers are done wrong. It's got to come down. The ultimate renovation nightmare. We thought that, you know, this will be for the best of, of our household and our family and our relationship to, you know, have a nice place to live in and to come home to and to enjoy. Different state, same problem, renovations gone wrong. Doing the kitchen up, doing the bathroom, adding another bathroom laundry and then a couple of openings. Isabel and Jerry McGinley wanted a fairly standard renovation on their Adelaide home. They hired a builder to do the work for $35,000. It was meant to be finished by Christmas. It's still a wreck, a renovation disaster. We've paid him probably around 65000 to be finished around by Christmas time. He started in every room and has finished none of them basically. The McGinleys have joined a growing number of home renovators left high and dry by bad builders or dreams far exceeding their budgets. The average renovation is between $100,000 and $200,000, Australians spending about $30 billion renovating. But higher costs and a softer real estate market has seen gains massively eroded, the promised returns of home renovations merely a pipe dream. Most people think that the more money they put into it, the more money they're going to make. Property expert Chris Gray is the chief executive of Your Empire, a property management and advisory company, and he knows the traps. The biggest trap for most people is it takes twice the amount of time, it takes twice the amount of budget, and the quality is not very good. And so they think it's as easy as the TV shows say, it's as easy as the magazines, but it's not. It's a lot, lot tougher. Even the reality shows themselves have fallen victim to these traps. We're bombarded with ideas, told how to do it, convinced it doesn't cost a fortune. Two wet areas, a bathroom and a laundry in just seven days is outstanding. But reality shows have been forced to face reality itself. Six properties renovated on the block and the renovators were sold off, but only half made a profit, the other half sold at a loss. It's reality TV, not real real estate. Look, we see disaster stories and they usually uh, revolve around people not having a good understanding of the project ahead of them before they actually start. David Hallett from Archie Centre has seen home renovators cut corners to save money, just creating a future disaster. Well, we inspect a lot of homes, of course, for, uh, for home buyers and we find illegal building work of some sort or another at about uh, 25 to 30 per cent of the homes we inspect. You can still make money renovating properties in 2012. Nathan Birch is the renovation millionaire, the cash flow kid. At 26, he's built an empire of more than 50 renovated properties worth almost $5 million. Proof, not all renovations are a disaster. This burnt out shell is his latest. It cost $110,000. He'll spend less than $50,000 doing it up. Then... It's cost you about one sixty. dollars That's correct, yeah. What would you sell it for? 240. dollars
Nathan Secret, a small team of tradesmen, he's gathered to work on every one of his properties and fast turnaround repairs. So it's back on the market for rent or sale within one month. What's the one big trap people fall into? Paying too much. Paying too much and not getting the, the job done right. From our experts, these basic tips on renovations that do make money. Don't overspend on the property, find a good building team and then keep them. Stay in for the long haul when the market is soft and start slowly. I guess the main thing is, is don't bite off more than you can chew. Do it very, very slowly and each time then just try something different and build up from there. As per Christine Parsons, the damage has been done. Geelong Council has, though, given her extra time to find the money to demolish her Renault wreck, but she needs a good Samaritan to step in and help. Please just come in and bulldoze it down, put the nightmare to an end, because that's all it is now, is a nightmare. And you can find more renovation information and contacts on our website. Here's what's coming up on Today Tonight.